my big questions. Can the BJP really breach the Dravida fortress? Will Tamil Nadu remain an India bastion? Who is the DMK's challenger this time? AIDMK or BJP? I'm joined by two senior journalists from Chennai, GC Shekhar and Narayan Lakshman, the political, uh, the editor opinion at The Hindu. I appreciate both of you joining us. Narayan, to you first. What's your sense? When I was in Chennai and then Coimbatore, I got a sense that the opposition vote could well get split between the BJP and AIDMK, and that is to the advantage of the DMK, even though there is some creeping anti-incumbency against the government. Yes, actually, that's a distinct possibility of the vote split happening. But you have to think about who are the supporters of each of these parties. And for the AIADMK, it's traditionally been a coalition of different castes. Of course, uh, they draw strongly from the Tevar community. Uh, but they even have Dalits and they have, uh, you know, women vote strongly for the AIADMK as well. Are these groups likely to migrate to the BJP? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, that really depends on what uh, voters end up thinking at a broad level of the BJP as a party mm -hmm. that represents maybe certain castes, upper castes, or does it represent a broader section in its Tamil Nadu version? So uh, it's it's going to be interesting to wait and see how how split this vote is. Uh, my sense is that the ADMK is not out of the reckoning by a long stretch. Uh, I know a lot of people have kind of... Uh, kind of pushed it a bit more to the background in their analysis and uh, brought the BJP in. And there, there is a possibility of a surprise. But if you think of the traditional, um, you know, approach of the AI DMK, like the DMK in terms of grassroots mobilization at the village, at the village level, district level, and so on, they are still masters at that game in whichever pockets of the state they are. And of course, in Thani and parts mm -hmm. of the South, they are strong. They are less strong in the, you know, Northwestern parts of the state. But uh, having said that, um, I, I do feel, that, as I said, it's mainly between the DMK and the ADMK, but the BJP it's, could surprise us. The BJP could surprise us. GC Shekhar, surprise in terms of vote share is the, is the sense or surprise in terms of seats? A party with 4% vote share last time, can it go across 20% to actually become a contender for seats? Is the BJP's yeah. target really increasing vote share this time? Yeah, the vote share is bound to go up because uh, uh, Anna Malai and his team have worked very hard in the last two years. Uh, but uh, a few sh seats are up for the taking. I'm sure that uh, I strongly feel that Anna Malai himself will uh, succeed in Coimbatore. And there are a few seats like uh, uh, Thani, where the TTV Dinakaran is contesting. Tenka, see, I mean, uh, Ternal Valley, where... Uh, uh, Nainar Nagendran is a very strong candidate. Uh, so I think, uh, the, and then Darbapuri, where Anbumani Ramadas' wife, uh, she is contesting. So wherever the candidates are a bit strong, I think the BJP front may even uh, pick up those seats. So you will, I see uh, definitely around 15% uh, and above in vote share, and maybe three to five seats for the BJP. Uh, that is my reading as far as. Uh, uh, the, the latest survey uh, by one of the leading uh, weekly uh, that mm -hmm. has happened. So I think uh, Anamalai's hard work will pay off to some extent uh, during this Lok Sabha elections. There is one factor though, Narayan Lakshman, which also struck me, which is the woman factor. You know, uh, just one statistic, 43% of all women working in industries in the country come from Tamil Nadu. And some of the schemes of the DMK clearly aimed at women have work to an extent there is also no Jailalita factor this time which used to attract women to the AIDMK. Could the woman voter become key in Tamil Nadu yet again this time but this time in favor of the DMK? Absolutely Rajdeep. I think uh, to understand how women vote it's very important again to go back to the history of welfare politics in Tamil Nadu. Uh, the intervention for example such as the moon meal scheme was actually designed to improve the calorific uh, you know, stock or inventory that the uh, that the household had. So you're looking at microeconomic behavior here. And whatever the household was losing in terms of the men going out there and drinking, let's say through the alcohol, the prohibition policy, which allowed certain kinds of uh, local alcohol, the state tried to supplement that by putting nutrition back literally into the, fam into the onto the family table or uh, into the fa family's hands through women. So women have greatly been at the forefront of Dravidian politics as the primary recipients of this these mass welfare schemes. And to date, like you said just now, the DMK is seen as the primary vehicle of it because 
for other reasons. The, the fact of uh, EPS being a very successful governor, governing, uh, you know, head of the state, uh, but failing to control his carders in the sense of being able to mount an effective challenge to the DMK, that has undermined them. But as far as what does the Dravidian movement stand for? How does it support families? What does it do for women? I think it is still seen as the main vehicle for those uh, those uh, trends and women will probably flock to the DMK. That would be my guess as someone who's looked at the history of policies of the Dravidian movement. On the other hand, there's the Modi factor, GC Shekhar. Uh, he was yet again in Chennai today. Another roadshow. He's got rallies tomorrow. Seventh visit in the last two months. There's no other state that the Prime Minister has visited more often than Tamil Nadu in the last two months. He's obviously seen something. Mr. Modi wouldn't go into a state unless he thought that there was a real opportunity available there. Is there a Modi factor? Because on the ground, you don't sense that enthusiasm, frankly, for Mr. Modi that I sense when I'm in North India. Yeah, different, uh, definitely Modi's uh, image has had taken a beating ahead of the 2019 election because there was a systematic anti-Modi campaign uh, by the DMK and its allies. Uh, I think that is one reason why the D BJP front performed very poorly in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections in Tamil Nadu. I think Modi has uh, attempted in a big way to correct that. He has made a lot of visits. He had had his Kasi Tamil Sangagamam, uh, two chapters of that. And then he has had, uh, in Gujarat, he has had a uh, similar Tamar Sangamam. He has made repeated, uh, it's, uh, it's, I heard, uh, in your program, I heard that uh, Modi is coming here only uh, during election time. No, it's not, it's not correct. He has come even before election time. He has had, uh, he has inaugurated many projects here. In fact, if you, if you see in the last two years, after Stalin became chief minister, I think he had made three, four visits and the two of them have appeared together on the same stage, inaugurating projects. So it's not as if he comes only during election times. Of course, during this election time, he has paid a lot more attention to Tamil Nadu by repeat, by covering the entire geography uh, of the state. Uh, so it's not as if that, uh, I, I'm sure that uh, he has given equal importance to Kerala as well, because I think uh, the BJP is taking these two uh, states, which it considers as the last frontiers in the South, uh, very seriously this time. Yep. I think it falls into a pattern uh, that uh, the BJP wants to make a, its presence felt in Tamil Nadu and in Kerala, and it really wants to make a dent into the Dravidian wood base. Definitely, yes. One final question, Narayan Lakshman. There's so much talk of a north-south divide that effectively uh, the BJP still remains a dominant party in northern India, is still finding its feet in the south. Do you believe this 2024 election could perhaps... Uh, Give us a sense of just how far the BJP has reached in breaching uh, these southern citadels of strong regional parties. Uh, do you believe that that is really why this election in Tamil Nadu has captured the interest? The BJP, can it breach this southern citadel? Look, Arjeep, I think uh, this is where as journalists we try and, uh, you know, sift the hype from the reality and the reality, of course, partly revealed by poll results, but partly also by just getting out there on the ground like you've been doing and talking to people on the streets. And look, let's look at several things. On the one hand, they have the BJP has and its allies have concertedly tried to get into the state. They've done so, for example, even through the RSS, by the way, which never features in these conversations, but is quietly working at the village level to promote Hindu festivals, temple worship, idol worship, and all those things. So they are working on a very, very multi-election, multi-generational transformation effect. But at the same time, what has happened in two terms of the BJP, a decade of rule, is that the lines, the battle lines have been drawn ever more clearly in terms of federalism, in terms of the tussle that states have with the center. And honestly, the difficulty that certain non-BJP rule states have had with in dealing with the center, not only in terms of getting their share of resources, let's say for flood assistance and so on, but also in terms of the, you know, the, the what some people have called the mischief that governors are playing in these states. It has wreaked right. havoc in terms of neat and it's called, un, it's caused uh, untold misery to individuals and families. Right. So I think that this is, uh, that, that that really tells you which way this battle is going and people are going to deliver the final blow to, to seal their view on that. I think you made an interesting point. Not so much North versus South. That's the sense I got. It is more about federalism and pitting Delhi in a way against opposition rule states. How will that play out could well make a critical difference in a state like Tamil Nadu. For now, GC Shekhar, Narayan Lakshman for sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you so much for joining me here on this News Today Tamil Nadu special.